Hi, my name is Keith Partridge. I'm the National Duplicator Specialist at Reso Inc. And I'm here today to show you how to use some of the functionality in a Reso Duplicator. Today, we're actually going to go over the Function tab. Uh, the Function tab gives you a lot of applications that you don't find in the, the front of the screen. Let's go over this. If we look on the screen right here, we see the word Function. We just push it. Right now, I have three pages of different functions. We're going to go over each one really fast, just so you know. First one you see is meter display. Uh, sometimes your dealer might call you up and say, can you give me the meter read on your machine? We just hit the meter display, it pulls it up and it shows you how much has been done on this machine. Uh, program, we can actually set up a program of how we want to print, um, what order you want to print in. It, it's very helpful for collating at a later date. Job memory, we do have a memory section of this machine. Um, it is a memory card that you will get on your own. You'll put it on the side. It's just a small SD card like you would use in a camera. Uh, it's stored in the left-hand side of the machine. From here, you're able to save a lot of your applications you do. If you're doing an envelope that you do constantly every month or you're doing a letterhead, you can actually save it on your memory card. Come here, press the button, and it will print that job for you. Multi-op print. What this means is if I want to scan one item, and print it multiple times on one piece of paper, I can do that. Um, I can print up to eight times on a piece of paper. Um, and by doing this, so if you're doing tickets or doing something that you, business cards, stuff that you want to cut down to size, you're able to do it through the paper size tab. Two up. Same thing as the multi up print, but what we're doing, instead of doing three to five to eight, we're going to do two. You're going to scan an item and it's going to go twice under the piece of paper. It's very useful if you have an eight and a half by 11 document, you can scan it and now you can put it on 11 by 17 and just cut it later. Cuts down on the, on the printing time. Um, layout, layout just helps you set up your page, you know, where your, where your borders will be um, and how the page is set up. Book shadow. Book shadow is very useful. If you are scanning a book, what happens? The binder gives you a black shadow down the middle. What we do is we actually replace that black shadow with a, a whiteness. Uh, the machine knows that where it sees that dark black shadow to put a white uh, band up and down so that you're scanning it and you don't have that middle part that just looks like a big black line down the middle. Top margin adjustment. You can adjust your margin. You know, if you want to print closer to the edge, uh, this machine starts out, um, the edge is three millimeters from where the paper goes in to two millimeters on each side. You're actually able to adjust that to accordingly to fit into what your application is. Um, binding margin. What are, you, what are you doing if you're making a book? You know, you want to be able to have that little side on each edge where you're going to be binding it. So it's not printing in that area, so you don't have that lost area. If you do book binding, you can actually select which side of it will be book bound, and then it's going to give you a little edge on the side so that you can bind it without losing any print area. Max scan. It's actually not a scan. It actually makes it will print all the way to the edge. Um, the problem you have with that sometimes, if you print all the way to the edge, you could get a little ink going off the sides. Mica and the roller might cause a little ink on the bottom of them. But if you want to do a max, scan, a max print, we call it max scan, hit max scan, it will print all the way to the edges. Reservation. Reservation is a very useful tool. Let's say you're standing at the machine doing a print job. You're setting up all the applications, all the different settings, and then someone at desk over hits the button and prints. It erases all your stuff. What you do is if you're working at the machine, hit the reservation button. What that's going to do is two things. It's going to shut off the network card and that means no one can print in there except for you. Uh, it's on for 15 minutes. You can put it on while you're working. When you're done, just shut it off and that person can get back in. Uh, preview. I like to have that button on because what it does is when you do a scan or a print job for your computer, it's going to put the image right here on the screen before it prints. Just to make sure that you're lining everything up correctly. You're not printing the wrong direction. You don't have your paper in the wrong way. Preview is very useful to um, help avoid issues in printing. Editor. Editor is actually, there's a user manual for this and I recommend reading it. What Editor allows you to do is to scan a document 
At that point, you can take that document, see it on the screen, and edit it. You got a date on there you don't want, take it right off. You want to print a certain color in a certain section, you can select that. Very useful, but the easiest way to learn how to use this is take your user manual, read it, and then test with it. You, you, very simple, very easy to use, just follow the instructions. Separation. Uh, this is only on a two color machine. This tells the machine how to separate colors. Are you separating it by you know, black and red? Are you separating it by warm colors and cold colors? There's a lot of different applications in there, how you can separate, but this is only in a two color machine. And it's how it selects what colors of an image go to drum one and what goes to drum two. Um, double feed check. What this does is, when this is on, if you're running a job, it will stop the machine from running if two pieces of paper go through at the same time. Um, very useful when you do an NCR paper because you know it's in order. Um, so if you put a double feed check on, if it pulls two pieces of paper at the same time, it will stop the machine from running. Idle. Idle just means that the machine before it prints the first job will always be at peak performance. It means that the first 10 prints aren't going to come out faded and start getting darker. Your first prints usually will be a little lighter because it's really a proof print to show you where everything's going to line up. But once you do the second print, the third print, you'll be at max ink on the paper if you have idle action on. If you don't have the idle action on, what happens is the ink just starts slowly getting to the paper. So your first 10 prints might be not the quality you expect. Leave idle action on. It doesn't slow the printing down any and will be very, very useful. Confidential is a very useful tool. What it does is it takes your master that's on the machine um, because remember your print job from your last print job is still on that master. Let's say you're a teacher, you're doing tests and you don't want the students come over hitting the print button and getting the test. If you do confidential, what it does is it actually takes that the old master, puts it in the waste container and puts a new one on there. Um, it's a blank one. So no one can walk up and print your job. It also has other functions that are related to it. One, Let's say you use a color that's only used seasonally. You know, you might be a church using purple a certain time of year. You might be a school that only prints their letterheads a certain time of year. Well, instead of letting that cylinder dry, dry, be dry with the master around it, uh, with the image still on there, if you run a confidential before you put that color cylinder away, it's going to be no images on there, so it will keep the cylinder perfect. Uh, it's also a second way of if you have some dust or something on your, on your cylinder. Uh, if you're printing and you see some, some marks on the page, run a confidential. It will actually clean the cylinder out by putting a new master on there, pushing all the ink through and getting any kind of dirt or imperfections on the cylinder out. So the confidential can be used for multiple ways, but it's a very useful tool that we use a lot. Ink saving mode is pretty simple. Uh, it just it automatically sets your machine up at the lowest density. Uh, it helps schools save money. That's what it's there for. You know, if you have a job, you're printing a test or something that you know is going to be thrown out pretty quickly. Put on ink saving mode. It will it will give you the same image, but at the lowest density at all times. Um, interval. Interval is a very useful tool. Um, what interval does is it allows you to print one page and then the next page won't be pulled. Why would you do that? Heavy ink. If you have an, a document with heavy ink coverage on it, or you have a document on very heavy paper, sometimes when the paper comes through, it lands on the other one. Our ink is still wet. It's still a wet, um, uh, wet ink. Falls on top of it. What happens at that point? Transfer. You can, you can get, you get little specks of the color below on the above. Um, if we do interval, we're able to skip the, the printing. We can actually take this machine from printing 150 pages a minute all the way down to six pages a minute. Please read your, read your user manual. The user manual is going to be very helpful showing you how this works. Um, special paper control. Um, these are functions if you're having trouble having certain papers go through, you can actually adjust the way the paper is pulled through. Uh, high speed, if you put this on, it automatically has the machine rated high speed all times. That would mean this machine, every print will be 150 pages per minute. Um, that can also be controlled through the touch screen itself. Uh, quick master making mode. Um, on a two color machine, it takes 23 seconds to make two masters. On a one color machine, it takes 17 seconds. 
Um, if you're going out and you need to get it faster, we can actually make them in 14 seconds. It's, it's only saving three seconds, but sometimes people like to have that, app, that application. So if you hit quick master making mode, it just makes the master faster. It does that by lowering the DPI, but again, it does make it faster. Uh, slip sheet sorting. Let's say you're printing and you want to do for tests for schools. You have four classes. Each class is going to get 25 prints. It will print 20, you set it up, you print 25 prints. It will then put a, uh, one sheet of paper through with no image. So you can fan through, find the one with no image, and pull the 25 out. It's easier for sorting. And that's really what it's for. Uh, and then paper memory is just a way to remember. Uh, again, it's built off the memory card, and it's a way to remember paper sizes. One of the last most useful tools we have for the Resale Duplicator is a simple one. It's the user manual. A lot of people don't take the time to read their user manuals for any appliances they get. I recommend reading this with the Arisa Duplicator. Not only is it going to answer the questions you have, it's actually going to let you know a lot of applications of this machine that you didn't know were there. Reading the user manual is easy. It's a quick read. But if you have any other questions, feel free to call us at Reso Inc. Again, my name is Keith Partridge. My contact information will follow. Thank you.